uh, this video we are going to study about limit of functions we are going to use the MATLAB program to find the limits I am Dr. C. Sudhakar with you and you are with me in we learn math channel let us see what are the syntax for finding the limits if you want to find a limit extends to 0 f of x by g of x some expression in terms of x and some expression in terms of x the command is limit f of x divide g of x limit so the function should be given inside the parenthesis f of x slash g of x if the limit is 0 no need to specify it by default it will take it as 0 now if you want to find limit extends to infinity some functions the command will be limit f of x divide g of x comma you have to say what is a variable comma and the limit infinity the notation is inf so limit extends to a plus f of x by g of x the command is limit f of x by g of x comma x comma a for this plus we will put right inside the quotations suppose if it is a minus the command is same except this one here it is right for minus it is left calculate the limit for the following function let us see what is the limit a limit extends to 0 4x square minus 2x divided minus x cube minus x let us see what is the MATLAB command for this now let us type limit the function is 4 multiply x square x square we can take x power 2 minus 2 multiply x now we can close the numerator divide the denominator is minus x cube minus x so we have given the function if the limit is 0 no need to give anything simply close enter this is the answer take one more example 6 x cube minus 7 x minus 5 this time we will take the limit extends to infinity Now let us see what is the MATLAB program. Before going to the next question, we will clear this CLC. Now the second question is limit 6x cube x power 3 minus 7 multiply x minus 5 divide minus x power 3 open a bracket and we will give the limit now minus x power 3 minus x minus 1 the function is finished but we have to give the limit for this so give comma x infinity command is inf enter answer is minus 6 let us take the third example now we are taking the right limit that is plus the command is this just to have a difference we are using this uh, SYMS otherwise in this place limit we can totally give this function here comma x comma 7 comma for this plus you can give right so we will get this output the third function is we have to find the right limit but we are going to do it in a different way by introducing the variables the same question can be done by the same method as an example too now we introduce the symbols f equal to x square minus 49 and g equal to absolute value of x 
so it is abs is means absolute value now let us calculate the limit the limit is f divide g variable is x the limit is 7 plus means you give right so the answer is 14 let us see this example now this example is 6 minus that is the left limit so give the f value g value modulus of x minus 6 will be abs that means absolute value of x minus 6 limit at the point 6 it is a left limit so this is the answer I hope you enjoyed learning mathematics with me. Please subscribe to this channel and click the bell for quick updates. Wish you all the best. Signing off Dr. C. Sudhakar. You are watching your favorite math learning channel, We Learn Math.